Hi, Russell Oliver here. Hey, I would like to um, teach you girls and guys in the business world, entrepreneurial world, um, how to actually give that Facebook page of yours a, a very big organic boost. Um, my, me personally, I don't like paying for Facebook ads. I don't like paying for any type of advertising whatsoever, be, only simply because I don't like pumping money into um, something that is actually not going to work or be beneficial. Say for instance, um, wanting to target uh, local business owners, um, and however, what type of business owners do you want to attract? That sort of thing. And all of a sudden, I push out my small business consulting stuff um, off to uh, lolly manufacturer owners. Um, now, for some of them, it kind of works, kind of doesn't work, so I definitely need to get that right. Um, so you've got to um, organically attract people to actually in interact and participate in your page. So this is my uh, Facebook page organic blast tutorial. Um, literally, um, without doing Facebook ads um, and turning your Facebook page into a organic powerhouse. Now about myself, um, I've served 16 years in the military. I have myself and my wife um, have two flourishing businesses, romanticgestures.co.nz and romanticgetawaysnz.com. Now Romantic Gestures actually incorporates flash mobs, uh, marriage proposals, um, and we also have wedding supplies, that sort of thing. Uh, and we just recently done a marriage proposal, fantastic, thumbs up in Queenstown, um, and also done a flash mob at someone's wedding, which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, more on the Facebook page for Romanta Gestures NZ. Now, RomantaGetawaysNZ.com, yes, we have over 60 uh, Romantic Getaways up and down the country, and uh, she is booming. She, We are literally going to be um, quite a prominent force of Romantic Getaways, honeymoon locations and Romantic excursions uh, all across New Zealand. And slowly but surely I'm starting to think, hey, I might as well go ahead and go offshore as well. Um, watch the space for that. Now, I've, my, for uh, for me personally, I've done numerous business papers, marketing uh, strategies, business strategies, business plans, that sort of thing, and also started to mentor others um, as I am um, divulging myself into the small business consulting field of, of the industry as well. So my website was born uh, russelloliver.com russell-oliver.com um, URL down below uh, and we are just starting out so hence why I am creating this video. Yes I do have an agenda um, it is purely for brand exposure. Now hey I'll do another tutorial on that. So let's crack into it. Um, so the Facebook page organic blast itself. We are I'll be interact. So, what's your audience uh, all about? You know, you need to find out what your niche is. Um, say, for instance, you operating a um, a birthday party um, type service. So you have costume clowns and that, and you really want to um, you know make sure that you get the right audience for that. Um, so. Point number one is what would your readers call themselves? Um, you know, who are they? Not what you would want to call yourself. What would your readers want to call themselves? This is basically um, you're wanting to do up a badge of identity itself. So you're wanting people to actually identify and relate to what you do in your page. Cool. Make it all about the reader, not yourself. Um, yeah. If, because if you make it all about yourself, they're just going to be put off. It's not going to work. Uh, you know, hey, yeah, it's really interesting uh, for yourself, um, but it's not going to be. But it's not all about the reader, and um, that's where most um, people actually fall um, victim to that. So make it about them, not yourself. There's a certain strategy that you um, that I'll teach you a little bit later on in this tutorial on how to do that. Um, for those of you who are operating a um, a service, um, a, like say a um, for instance business consultant service, and 
literally you're just wanting to uh, do a tutorial based um, or you're wanting people to do market research so that they can grow their business as well um, tell them how to do it don't tell them um, to do it okay so you're wanting to show them how or we'll give them a snippet on showing them how rather than hey, you need to do your market research um, and you know the, my clients don't know how to do that they don't know hey you know well where do I but they ask themselves where do I start what do I do how do I do it and yes there's observational research there is survey research um, and I've also gone to link on um, in my YouTube channel it's up there links up there um, on actually how to find out the needs and wants um, of your target audience as well so there's a various amount of techniques that you can use okay and lastly use your readers language you might understand what you are talking about yourself but the readers might not understand the technical jargon that um, operates within your industry and uh, within what you do so make sure you um, understand and use your readers language in the content the videos um, your cover your profile image um, and your URL name um, so that they can actually relate properly to it and of course yes so once you understand all that type of stuff um, you know you'll be able to find out what uh, your readers badge of identity um, this is going to be uh, quite good in play later on all right so here we started um, you know you, you got a graph here uh, you know I call it a pie graph no no shit um, so there's a, there's a few things here so what's my badge where are my problems or what are my problems what do I like to buy and where do I like to hang out so this is your reader okay the nice little person down below uh, he or she is asking um, you know you're, you're wanting to know um, what are their problems what do they like to buy where do they hang out and so therefore uh, once you have that information you'll be able to find out what their badge is. So here's a few things, um, you know, let's say for instance, this is a, um, you know, a business owner wanting to start up an online chocolate shop. Um, so, and my clients ask themselves, well, you know, where do I start? How do I start up? Um, what do I need to do? What What are the compliance stuff here? Um, what the, what website theme do I want? Um, do I need a website designer? Um, and how on earth do I do market research? I'm fresh off the boat. I have no idea what to do. Um, yeah, so literally. So those are some of the problems that um, that happen in, uh, when you, when the business owners uh, start up for the first time um, or um, literally if you're say wanting to get into the animation side of the house um, literally they'll ask oh yeah what sort of animation software to, uh, to use um, what people are looking for uh, what you know what's cool and what not you know that sort of thing I'm not into the animation side of the house too much um, although I do do a bit of, bit of my my own animations I've actually streamlined it um, anyway carrying on um, you know what what do they like to buy well, you know so think of yourself in a third person uh, think of your reader what do I want what do I like to buy what do I need? I'm thinking of the business um, side of the house when people actually start their business. So what they're wanting to know is, I, I'm wanting to buy a accounting software. What sort of value does it have? What features does it have? That sort of thing. Uh, business automation. My time's precious. I want to automate my processes. Uh, marketing tools. Holy heck, uh, Hootsuite's fantastic. I can schedule my posts left, right and centre. Although Facebook can do that now anyway. Um, and... What sort of sales funnels um, do I use? Uh, you know, uh, there's click funnels out there. Uh, I think there's leading or something like that. The, um, and personal click funnels is way too expensive uh, for small businesses. 
where do we hang out? Um, you know, oh yeah, local business networking groups, uh, seminars, workshops, community groups. So all of a sudden, you've started to get the ingredients or what the badge is. Okay, you found, you know the problems that they're having. Um, you know what they want to buy. So you kind of I and and to um, and you know where they are hanging out. So you know what sort of content that they are after. Um, you know what problems that they are having. So here's where the here uh, how to do stuff comes in. Literally, you can say, oh yeah. If they say, how do I start up? You have a little checklist, and each checklist have a, has a detailed instruction on how they could start up. It's as simple as that. Um, you give them the tools so that they can actually do it themselves, and that way you incorporate value for money. What do I like to buy? You identified um, what sort of services and products that um, that you need to incorporate in what you offer as well. And also this comes uh, with a marketing uh, strategy as well. You can actually develop a, a certain type of offering um, for free. So like, oh yeah, I can do, um, you know, I can create a do-it-yourself uh, marketing tool and auto-schedule for not just Facebook, for everything else. And hey, we can do that for free. You know, only if you sign up to blah, 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 blah. Um, that sort of thing. And also you have, uh, you know, and where do I hang out? Um, you've identified, hey, who, what groups um, you can direct this to as well. So literally you come into these Facebook groups, these networking groups, and you start interacting with them. Um, and you start talking to them. It's talking their language. Don't talk your language because no one can. Ninety-seven uh, over exaggeration, but I'll just say ninety-seven percent actually don't understand your language. So you need to study what sort of language that they use and uh, start conversing with them that way. Um, and that way, it's a bit of a mutual respect on that, and you literally develop relationships. That way, you got ingredients for your identity badge itself. Here we go. Uh, so basically, they consider themselves. Um, so this is your, the badge that you, you know, literally have to say, uh, small business advocate. Um, you know, that's what they're wanting. They're wanting small business consultants for future entrepreneurs, um, or simply um, a business advisory, or great value business advice have create some sort of catchphrase um, that has been created from the ingredients that you have gathered and you know literally what are your problems what would you like to buy where do I hang out and you will literally have the ingredients to actually create a badge which people can actually identify themselves with and, and be a certain solution Okay, so let's get to the Facebook page itself. Now, a lot of businesses actually make the mistake of making the image about themselves and uh, not about their readers. Here in New Zealand, I actually um, created a brand called RO, Russell Oliver Small Business Coach. Um, it's starting to fire up and people actually relate to that brand. So this actually can... Um, can strategically work but however if your brand is quite new uh, and it's not getting any traction you need to create a certain logo um, within your profile image that actually relates to what um, the readers are wanting itself um, for instance if you have a, a fishing company itself you want to put a logo of the fish with your business uh, name and that logo as well um, something cool and attractive like that. Make it so that the readers identify themselves and not you. Very important because man, you, do, you don't want to be me, me, me. You want to be, it's all about them. I'm here to help you. Um, you know, you got to make it a, appear that you're going to go all out for your clients and customers or readers. 
<sighs> okay. Um, the page name itself, uh, it's got to be uh, quite catchy, unique. Um, there's, <laughs> I've realised there's, you know, not a lot of options because people are using the same name left, right, and centre. But hey, I'm the first one that actually got Small Business Coach NZ, um, and I've got my name up there too. But people can actually click on the URL, Facebook slash URL, uh, Small Business Coach NZ, and it goes straight to my page. Simple as that. Um, so you got to think about what will the readers call themselves or wanting when they are in interacting with your page. They're wanting a small business coach in my case and on there. That's it. And very important that you get that right. Now remember the, uh, the cover photo video itself. Um, remember that when someone is actually uh, interacting on Facebook and they're glancing at their Facebook feeds, you, know, you literally got a split second to catch the eye um, and actually for them to register what, what your content's all about, um, you know, what your offer is and, um, and actually have that grade of interacting with them as well on a personal level. So if they're wanting a small business coach, it's right there. I'll look at that and go, oh yeah, small business coach, boom, words. Now, the one thing is, is that I'm actually gonna change, change this uh, image in the future because Facebook rules with texts on your cover page images when it comes, comes up to being boosted through Facebook ads. Yes, Facebook ads is actually quite um, valuable, even more than bloody Google AdWords, um, in relation to actually targeting advertising. So text messages, uh, text is in your cover photo or images uh, when boosting for Facebook ads is a big fact no no yep they won't allow it um you're not going to get much organic reach so you've got to be a little bit more creative when doing it so just remember is that you're wanting them to identify what your content is in a black and an eye because man you know they're looking at their mobile phone going oh you know um oh, oh shit gotta stop at a stop sign i've got to um oh, i've got to do stuff i'm in the grocery aisle um you know waiting for my turn to come up so i can pay for my groceries um yeah you, you don't have much time to catch them so you want something uh, in that facebook cover uh to actually catch their eye you know, and resonate with what they're wanting and um and what they relate to that sort of thing All right, can't say enough about the content. Okay, um, you know, this, it, honestly, it can't be about you or your products. Simple as that. You literally have to be creative in your content um, so you can interact with uh, the reader, your audience as well. Remember, make it about them, not yourself. This goes for photos, videos, um, or just blogs, that sort of thing. Um, so, honestly, make it about them don't make it about yourself uh, incorporate if you're operating a service a how-to approach um, if you're wanting them to purchase your service or products you know try and do a how-to approach or um, or make a simple suggestion don't say you need to do this say here's how to do this you know or give them a little snippet on here's how to do this that sort of thing so make it about them um, make it interactive make it interesting make it about um, what they're wanting okay not what you think that they want what they are wanting so a bit of market research is in, uh, involved okay so hey that's a bit that's me uh, in a nutshell uh, Russell Oliver here at russell-oliver.com um, or small business coach NZ I've got to make sure I get there right and um, and of course I've got lots of videos and materials that you guys and girls can use um, so yeah fantastic um, hope you all have a nice fantastic day and happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you all thank you see you later wedding in business <laughs>